Okay, crude oil. Another beautiful J signal short. Let's check it out. The moving averages are in downtrends. We're using an order flow bar for confirmation if you want to be really conservative. The order flow bar after the arrow comes up. There's an automated system for you. You get the fib dots that automatically pop up. We had two Fibonacci dots that popped up. We had an automated arrow indicating a possible wave three Elliott wave to the downside. When it fires off, you're going to look for the second bar after the arrow. One, two. If it closes below low of that arrow, you have order confirmation that they're trying to mark the market down to pop in the trade right exactly there to the exact bar. There's your exact bar to enter. And that started off this whole big wave down, right? What it does is this. Let's look at the recent arrow. There's my Fibonacci dot for the retracement. What we're going to do, once I get an arrow that pops up, if you want to have confirmation that they're trying to mark the market down when my arrow pops up, you take the low of the arrow. There it is. Simple as that. The second bar after the arrow. If it closes, wicks do not count, wicks do not count, but if it closes, a partial body closed below, that low of that arrow, that's how we were nine for nine two days ago, three for three yesterday starting out on the five sim Renko, same trade. We're one for one on the five sim right now on our long time frame. It's gorgeous. We're off to a great start already. Here's your second bar. Look how it closes below the low. This tells you they're trying to mark the market down. They're trying to lower the bids. You don't, need a, you don't need market delta. You don't need to look at the bid versus the ask. You don't need to look at time of sales. You need to look at my second bar after the arrow because that should tell us where the order flow is right there. This arrow is determining where the order flow is. Look at that second bar. Close below it. Same way up here. That's how we nailed the high. Look at that. Beautiful. Now look at the five sim Renko, our large time frame. Same exact, same exact same thing. Check it out. It's only had one trade this morning. One trade. It's one for one this morning off my long time frame. Because what I'm using, I'm using market profile on my own charts. LV and HVA. If we're in a downtrend, we only take sells. We're below LVA. Shows weakness. I use my fib dots. My fib dots are unlike any other fib dots out there. There's nobody out there that has something like this because of what we're doing. We're looking at a lot of different highs in the market. Not only, not only this session, but the previous session. I only had two fib dots that printed. It's telling you, get ready for a trade. Then I got an Elliott wave cycle that happens. Elliott wave cycle says this arrow is automatically going to pop up. Once that arrow automatically pops up, you have yourself a trade. There's your trade signal. If you want order flow confirmation, you wait for the second bar after the arrow. There's one. There's two. If it closes below, if it closes below the low of the arrow bar, not wicks, but a partial body candle close, you have yourself a trade, and there it goes. Then you can use your symmetry dots to scale out. There's your symmetry dots to scale, 50% of your position. You want to front run it by two ticks. Second set, you should be able to 75% overall targets, 80, 56 on our charts over here for the trade. That's exactly how we do it. It's one for one this morning off of my number three pattern. But see, what we're doing, guys, we're using very sophisticated technique how to do this. Market profile by itself, like I said, has its issues. Traders that trade just market profile, not, not good. Fibonacci dots, not good by itself. LA wave patterns, not good by itself. You don't know where the, count, the corrective wave, it's, if it's good or not. With market profile, you can tell. And then we're using order flow bar. We're using a technique that market delta traders use. We're using it with the second bar entry because that should tell me an order imbalance, a second bar, if I'm getting an order imbalance or not. We don't need to have market delta. We don't need to sign up to the software that shows us market delta. The heck with that stuff. We don't need the relationship between the bid and ask. This second bar should tell us that there's an order imbalance. That's all we need. All we need. Let these amateur traders have all kinds of charts up. It's called paralysis by analysis. Let them do it. Let them try to figure this stuff out because we'll be running the same exact trade today and 10 years from now. Just like this exact same trade has worked for the last 15, 20, 30 years. It's order flow. 
All we're trading is order flow. Market profiles work since 1985. Fib dot since the 1200s. LA wave since 1930. Order flow from the beginning of time. We're using all the techniques that the market internally does every single day. We're combining all those techniques into one price point in time to the exact bar for entry. Now, since we know the exact bar for entry, we got to have our exact stop. If you want to enter with the arrow, then you better get out if it closes above this black line. That's your small stop or partial candle close. If you want to enter with the order confirmation bar to have confirmation, a lot of traders are doing this now, then what I want to do is lower my stop to the high right before the arrow. Either the bar high before the arrow or the second bar before the arrow. It's going to be very conservative to let it breathe. This is your new stop if you enter with order confirmation bar right here. Order flow confirmation bar. Look how small your stop is on that sweet trade. It doesn't matter. I'd give up 10 points to make 20 points. I'd give up 100 points to make 300 points, Mike. We buy low, we sell lower. We sell low, we buy lower. I'm sorry. We buy high, sell higher. That's the difference between me and an amateur trader. Because guess what? Do I want to give some ticks up in order to avoid stop outs? Yes or no? Would I want to give tick up, ticks up to avoid a 15 tick stop out? Am I willing to give up two or three ticks to avoid a 15 tick stop out maybe two or three times a day? Yes, I am. That means I can, that means I can be wrong seven times. I can be wrong seven times with the order flow confirmation bar, five to seven times by just taking a regular stop out. That's the difference of playing it smart and not playing it smart. That's what order flow confirmation bar is working so well. And some traders are just taking the order flow confirmation bar after the arrow. But we can't take order confirmation bar without the setup, right? We got to have a setup. And that's why we're so accurate in the room. We are dead on this thing. Show me one trading room or show me one trader that can be this accurate. Show me one piece of software. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one market profile as accurate as ours. Not one. Not one Fibonacci software is accurate as ours. Not one. Not one Elliott Wave cycle is accurate as ours. Not one. Show me one in the world. Show me one that does this on a daily basis like ours. Because we're using a combination of all these techniques into one price point in time. That's why it's so accurate. Right? But use the order flow confirmation bar to help you out. Gerald, go to gold real quick. The gold trade. Why do we use the black charts then? We use the black charts. Gerald, go over to gold. Hey, Gerald. Gerald, is he there? Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 go to gold, please, and we're going to shut this off. On gold, we got the moving averages that are up. I said before we came down to this level, look at the bottom left chart on gold. This is more volume-based. There's these high volume, low volume nodes, 1231 and a half. Look how accurate our market profile is. Before it even came down there, I said, look for a number one trade right there. There's our hedge fund. Been using that since 1996. We had two times confluence there. One volume, one hedge fund, one on your own ninja charts. We have our own market profile. We had three times confluence at that area. Well, you can use the order flow bar on number one trades also. Because when we came down into 3150, where I said right here would be the buy point, there's my beautiful spinning top. Spinning tops will be in blue. We have our own Rinko bar. We lock it to our own server. Ninja Trader, you cannot lock Rinko bars. We build our own server because this Rinko bar is unbelievable. We locked it to our own server so it won't get out in the public. If it closes above that spinning top, which is blue, the second bar after that, that's order confirmation that they're trying to mark the market up. You don't need market delta. You just need to watch that second bar after the spinning top or doji. There it is. Closed above. There we go. Right to our target with trend up. So you can use the number one trades and the number three. The number three is just a continuation with J signal. Now J signal will always be opposite on number one trades because it's a deep retracement. So the number one trades to make it easy for yourself, only take the number one trades off the black charts. And then you can take the number three trades 
which are arrow based trades here off of the black charts and the ninja charts. And if you just want to take one trade set up all year long or all next year, I would just trade the number three until you get used to it, until you build the kitty bank up. Because number three trades are so dynamic. Our accuracy is uncanny how I got this down with the order flow bar now. It's, it's unbelievable how it's working with the Renko bar. Our accuracy is dead on with these markets. 